Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the limit if it exists, and then if the limit does not exist, explain why. So here we have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 2 minus the absolute value of x over 2 plus x. So we want to just plug in negative 2, but we can't do that because then we'd be dividing by 0. So we have to simplify this using the limit laws. And we have to, before we do that, we have to get rid of this absolute value. So we know that the absolute value of some function, right, anything you put into the absolute value, this is going to be equal to the function itself if it's greater than or equal to zero. But it's equal to negative of that thing if it's less than zero, right? It's like if we have the absolute value of negative four, this is not equal to negative four, it's equal to negative negative four, which is four. Right, we think of that as just making it positive, but really we're multiplying it by negative 1. So here we're taking the absolute value of x when x is approaching negative 2. So we're taking the absolute value of a negative number. So therefore, this is the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 2 minus negative x. Right? It's less than 0. Therefore, you have to take the negative version of it when you're dropping the absolute value over 2 plus x. Therefore, this is the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 2 minus negative x is 2 plus x over 2 plus x. This is just the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 1, right, since you just, these basically just cancel out. And this is just 1. Therefore, the value of this limit is 1.